I, um, I brought a few mushrooms up. I'll take some questions before. Yes, ma'am. You're really a fun guy. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> Do you know, uh, this one she can tell. Do you know where the mushroom family uh, went on a cruise? Yeah. They went to the Port Obella. <laughs> I, I love the hissing, I know. I got booed off stage at the Mother Earth Fair in Pennsylvania. Don't, don't let me tell one more joke. I, let's go back to the lichen one and remember how funny that was. Question, yep. It is spe well. Uh, some are omnivores. Um, I'm used to filtering bacteria. Are you talking about bacteria? Mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms like uh, potato dextrose auger, the gel. They also like malt extract auger. They they eat just about anything. Um, they're very, uh, like I said, they're very opportunistic. Yeah, as long as the pH is somewhere between five, eight, and ten. <laughs> They acidify. When they swim, they actually acidify their environment. So even a high pH, it's pretty interesting. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I'm curious. When you said you ordered all your pathogens, um, you said that Vegeta and that being a fungal Oh yeah. It's interesting because now you're dealing with cannibalistic activity of a fungus attacking a fungus, and that's actually how I first found out how I could do that is when I did my fellowship at the EPA, I was gone long enough. I was keeping all my cultures pure. And then while I was there, because I check them every day, right? They grow so fast. And when I was at, in, in Athens, it, a week would go by. I came back, and there was mold on a plate and a fungus. And I taped it up, and I threw it out. And then another week goes by. I come back to take the trash out of the lab, and I pick up that plate, and the fungus is attacking the other one. And it's just carpet bombing the mold on top with all these metabolites. So I took the pictures. That one plate should be in a museum because that's what changed. That's where I switched gears and I went back to my advisor at Clemson and I showed him what I was doing. See, I was an anomaly. Uh, and I know it. I went back to school at 38 and um, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I took industrial microbiology. I took uh, veterinary and paras veter medical and veterinary parasitology. And um, I saw that, and I showed it to my advisor, and they said, get out of my office and get a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And that's happened a couple times. And they, because they know me, uh, you know, I'm older, and they know I have a company, and they know that I, if I bring that to a university, do you know what happens? Yeah. All right, so forget it. Forget it. So we are still a family business, and I think that we want to keep it that way as long as we can. But it's getting, uh, it's getting expensive. It's getting expensive to do research. So who knows? We may go public, but I, I need to get that proof of concept knowing that uh, we do have target-specific organisms for uh, those pathogens. It's, it's crazy, uh, but imagine if we had a vending machine with strep on it. I've gone as far as looked at vending machines. You know me by now. You only know me an hour. I'm looking at vending machines. Does <laughs> yep. your book tell how you can do some of the spreading of the mushrooms? Yeah. It's a cultivation guide, and it's also a remediation guide, meaning if you, if you spill a little oil, if you're changing the oil in your lawnmower, your car, your tractor, you, you spill a little bit of oil, you could scoop that up, stick it into a bucket, and mix some uh, mushroom spawn in it, and you can break that down. All of us can remediate. You don't, it's not complicated. And that's why it's a, it's a bestseller. I'm not afraid to say that. Um, it's doing very well. So if you, if you want a copy, let me know. Is there any more questions before I do a shameless self-promotion? So. Yep. Yeah, we have, a re we have our little retail store now, uh, classrooms and retail store. There's tons of stuff there. I did bring two cases, so there's 24 here. Um, there's also a wonderful book by my friend Robert Rogers. He's my new best, uh, best friend in the industry. He's from Canada. He teaches medicine up at Alberta. 
And uh, it's an encyclopedia for, both of them are 30 bucks, by the way. Um, but it's amazing what he's condensed into that book. Peer-reviewed journals, by the way, not, not voodoo. <laughs> and if you not did voodoo. the trip on the 14th of June, you've got more books down there. There's more books down at the tour. Well, Fred, so. thank you 